quick heads up here about running your own witness. Maybe by now you're looking at all this stuff and getting excited about building your own thing out on the Steam blockchain. One of the things that I would really recommend you do in 2019 is look about running your own witness. And there's a lot of things happening with Steam Witnessing right now in terms of changes to optimize the code base so that the resources that you need to run this on on decent hardware in the cloud is not extreme and is manageable. And one of the places that you can find this is as a Docker image. So there is a guy over there who pulls, pulls these together regularly, a guy called someguy123, and his last one when he updated it, the Docker image, was the 23rd of December 2018, and it's called Steam in a Box. It's a toolkit for using the Steam Docker images published by at some guy 123 on the Steam blockchain. It's purpose to simplify the deployment of a Steam D nodes. So this has a bunch of features on it, automatic Docker installation, easily update Steam, Steam D, the CLI wallet with binary images, It'll easily build, build your own new versions of Steam by editing the Docker files, single command to download and install block log from GTG's server, a whole bunch of different features in there for running your own witness or seed node. So if you're programmer type, developer type, and you're interested in building your own application on top of Steam blockchain, at some point, you're probably going to want to run your own node to give it enough access to, to have it direct access to your application. Um, and also so that you're contributing into the whole decentralized nature of the Steam blockchain. I just wanted to throw that quickly in there. Uh, check it out, Steam Docker from some guy one two three.